hey guys welcome back to my channel guys this is a long awaited video and i've been getting a lot of telegram messages from people that wants me to do a video concerning nhs job application how to search for job and also put in the application so i decided to make this video today for those who are interested and you actually need to watch this video to the very end so that you can get the full details and how you can be able to go through nhs process or application all right so guys you're welcome back to my channel and if you're new here on my channel you're welcome thank you for subscribing to my channel and if you are still yet to subscribe please click on that subscription button subscribe like and then comment on my channel and don't also forget to turn on your bell so always be the very first person to see every new video that i post here on this channel okay so guys before i commence this video because i'm going to be taking you through the nhs job website i'm going to be taking you through two websites where you can be able to get nhs job roles from all right and I'm also going to be taking you through the track job application how you can put in your application so you just need to be patient and watch this video to the very end okay first of all what you need to apply for nhs job you need your care certificate you need your nvq health and social care certificate you also need your level two or level three diploma in health and social care you also need your face aid certificate cpro and some other certificate in order to increase your chances of securing a job with nhs and one most important thing that you need to secure a job with the nhs is nhs jobs supporting statement because without nhs job supporting statement you in fact you will find it very very uneasy to be shortlisted for an interview so in order for you to be shortlisted for an interview you need a well detailed application you need your certificates and you also need a well structured nhs supporting statement so i'm going to be taking you through this website and i actually want you to try as much as possible to watch this video to the very end so guys first of all you need to go to your browser and type nhs jobs this is one of the most popular websites for nhs job if you are searching for nhs job roles this particular website is the most popular website you can get jobs from okay what you need to do is to click on the search jobs when you click on the search jobs it will take you to a particular place where you can search for job but first of all guys when you're applying for a healthcare support worker role or maybe a healthcare assistant or nursing role please try as much as possible to apply for roles that is from band three and above please don't apply below band three for now apply from band three and above all right what you need to do is to click on the search in the keyword here you can add healthcare healthcare support okay support worker okay so you can see the minimum salary here yeah? can just type from 20,000 per annum all right so you can just see them um, once you see the 20,000 per annum just know that the this like from band three and above all right so once you're done you, you don't have any business with all this uh, location postcode and so on just click on search when you click on the search it will take you to the healthcare support workers roles that are available on this particular website so you can see they have healthcare support worker they they have different types of roles available and some of them are band three and some of them are not band three uh, for like this one now is band two you don't have any business with that you can see this one here is band three it's a north stanfordshire nhs trust so just click on the healthcare support worker room so if you continue click on continue over here so once you click on it it will take you to where you can be able to put in an application so look at it so this one here is band three healthcare support worker role so you can read through the job descriptions read through the person specification first to be sure that you are eligible for the job role and make sure that the salary is from twenty one thousand per annum all right so you can check after you're done you can just go straight to put in an application this is the person specification this is the additional information this is job description you can decide to download it and then fill it and 
sorry you can decide to download it and then use it to fill your application okay so what you need to do is to click on the apply for this job when you click on the apply for this job it said here continue so they are taking you to another website where you can be able to put in an application and that is track jobs so on this particular website this is where people have issues and they don't know how to put in the application this is track job and this website is the one that that actually help most, most of the nhs trust to to help people to put in an application so if you already have an account with the track jobs what you need to do is to put your email your password and then you sign in but if this is your first time of using track job account then what you need to do is to create an account just click on this email i'm going to be putting my email okay let me use okay let me use this the brown voice okay sorry guys the brown voice one at gmail okay so i've i've imputed my email so i'll check the box here that i'm not a robot they check that check the state cases and then you submit all right verify so that's correct and you click create your account so when you click create your account they have sent you an email for you to verify your account what you need to do is go go straight to your email make sure that you remember your email password it can log in to verify this particular account all right so you go straight to your email so guys and in order for me to verify my account i'll go straight to my email and this is my email this is the email sent by track jobs to me in order for me to verify my account what i'll need to do is to click on the link sent via the email once you click on the link it'll take you to this particular place for you to complete your account all right so what you need to do is to put your password okay let me just type of vampire so i just typed a password so make sure that the password is strong okay so I just type a password, then I'll go straight to right to choose Miss. If I miss that, choose Mister. Fill my name. Okay, leave the middle name. Okay, I'm just trying to pick. Choose the country where you are. So I'm gonna be choosing any country here. My, let me just choose Nigeria because I have a lot of Nigerians on my channel. All right. So let me just choose Nigeria as the country. Okay. Then address. Let me just choose Lagos in Nigeria. So the town, which is Lakey. Okay, then the country, choose Nigeria. Okay. I think the spelling is not correct. So Nigeria. So you just put the postal code, the phone number. I'm just going to be choosing any phone number. Okay, so your preferred language is English. Then you can now create accounts. Alright. So you create an account with them and then you are good to go once you're done creating an account with them then you can start putting in your application so guys after registering an account with the with track jobs what you need to do is go back to your job search and then look for a job role to put in an application so we have a lot of healthcare support workers roles available here and you need to apply for band three a healthcare role all right so what you need to do is to click on this click on one of the job role once you click on it it will take you to the job website where you're going to put your application so you can you click on continue then when you click on continue to take you to the job website so as you can see here they have a lot of details for you okay they even say a previous applicant needs not to apply so if you have already applied to the particular a nhs trust before please don't put in an application again okay give it some time some months before you start applying to this particular nhs trust but if you have not applied before please follow instruction and put in an application what you need to do is to read through the person specification the duties and the job descriptions once you are done reading through it and you know that you are eligible as you can see that this job is band three and the salary is from twenty five thousand pounds per annum that's per year so you after you are done reading it and you are very sure that you are eligible for this job go ahead to apply you can download the job description and the person specification and then use it to apply for 
your job role okay so what you need to do is to click on the apply for this job once you click for on the apply for this job it will take you to that particular track job website that you just registered okay they said here you will be, you will be redirected from this site to the employer's recruitment site so you click on continue when you click on the continue it will take you to the employer recruitment site and that is track job and then you can be able to put in an application so track job is one of the website that most recruiters use through the nhs okay so as you can see here senior healthcare support worker role is a pantry role and they will ask you some questions so this question they want to know if you are actually eligible to apply for this job they said do you process gcsa level qualification that is a, equivalent to your WIEC result if you're from nigeria or your o level result if you're from any other country i don't know what you guys call yours in your country so you click on this and click on yes so are you currently an employee if you if you are not currently working with them please you should click no as long as you are an overseas applicant you are not an employee with them yet they say choose your immigration status you are not a British citizen and you, you don't have any visa yes you are not Irish national you, you, do, you don't even have any settlement in the UK because you are an overseas applicant what you need to do is to scroll down you scroll down to the last one all right this which is this particular one that says i do not have a visa or right to work in the uk that's because you are an overseas applicant looking for sponsorship to come into the uk to work as a healthcare worker all right so if you if you wish to provide any additional information regarding your right to work then you go ahead to provide here so some people do put overseas applicants some people just leave it blank you can decide to leave it blank and then you tick this particular year that you have read the privacy policy of this particular website and then you proceed to your application just click on continue once you click on continue to take you to the form for you to apply okay so this is it so we have just started the form and the form is a new form some of you have already been applying for jobs and you have all that old application that you have already put what you need to do is to use the old application that you have already done and then edit it and add some stuff that you want to add through the job description of the particular role that you want to apply for all right so if you are just opening through the track job website you need to actually start from the beginning with your personal details your application questions your reference your all that details needed and so on then you submit your application so the form is quite long and you need to apply for the, your job in a pay with with fact you need to be very very patient when applying for this job all right so that you won't end up making mistakes and when you're not sure this day you won't get angry okay so you have to start your application by clicking on start you click on start then you put your personal details okay so you click on open then you put in your your personal details this one they already they help you to put the sum of your personal details when you are when you are registering on track job so what you need to do is to ask some of details you want to do for this particular place here it says provide employment type this it is a full employment you are applying for not a part-time then you click on save and next okay so when you click on save and next it said here if you are related to a director have relationship with a director or employee of an appointing organization please state the relationship just write here not applicable because you don't have any then you proceed to next when you proceed to next it will take you to the rehabilitation of offenders do you have any offense pending or you are all you don't have then you can click on either yes or no then you proceed with your application here you can be still no then you continue and this place you can still be no then you continue yes then you save Make sure that you always save your your form when you are filling, so that you do not the, uh, clear off. All right. So you mark this place as complete because you have already completed that session. Okay. And when you want to go back to edit, you can click on edit here, and then you can go back to edit your form. All right. So this place is application question. It's not all of the healthcare support workers role or healthcare assistance uh, role that has application questions. All right some of the nhs trust can decide to give you application question to test your intelligence concerning the role that you are applying for all right so now they have application questions here what you need to do is to click on start section once you click on it it will take you to the questions all right this one is some of the questions 
to add your education to your professional qualification once you click on it you can input all your education if you are if you are if you are a nurse if you are a doctor if you are a healthcare worker you have degree from your school in your home country just include it all right and then like, most people use phone to put in an application but when you are using phone to put in an application try as much as possible to make this this part to be in on desktop sites all right so they can easily impute your details all right so when you finish putting your education qualification and so on you can click on save next and you open to the next one all right so this next one is your relevant training courses start with the most important courses i know that all courses are very important but when you look at the the job description look at what they need and they mention the nvq health and social case certificate please start with that and put i'll mention work and all that start with any of your training certificate like like face aid like a level 3 diploma in health and social care then add all your certificate and then you save and click next all right when you save and click next it will take you to the next one for you to feel okay so this one they said membership or professional bodies please provide details regarding any relevant professional relation or membership this function will be, will be subject to satisfactory checks so please indicate your professional registration status so if your if your profession does not have does not need any professional relation if you're a nurse just know that your profession needs professional registration if you're a doctor you, you need it but if you know that you are not those those things kind of person like doctor like nurse radiographer lab scientist and so on and so forth just proceed all right this one does just click not require for this post all right but if you know you're a doctor please click on the appropriate option okay and then you click on next all right and then you continue with your application so this particular place it is nhs service this one is for internal candidates this is not for overseas candidate if you know that you are not an internal candidate please don't go ahead to, to do anything in this particular place just click on save and continue your application all right so the next one is your experience that is your professional experience with your current and past employer so if you start with the current employer please don't start with the past employer start with your your current employer all right you put your employer's name your employer address the type of business that is, if it's healthcare you put if it's not healthcare you put the company so you continue with the job title maybe you are, you're working as a you're currently working as a healthcare assistant you can just impute the then the telephone number of your company and then your job title and so on and so forth okay this particular part is reporting your to job titles if are you are reporting to your line manager or to the senior nurse or to the senior midwife you can impute here why this one is your job title and then you write your start date and your end date if you're currently working there please leave this ended blank all right then you can write excellent anything here yeah? maybe excellent maybe good and so on in this particular part that says great then your salary can include your salary maybe in naira or maybe in your currency all right then period of notice can just put maybe two weeks or maybe one month and so on and so forth so if you are this if, if this is your current employer please just leave this place blank if it's your past employer you can write reason for leaving maybe you left the, the workplace for for maybe let me say for a better working environment you can impute here or maybe because of a let me say to advance your career you can just impute it here and you can give a brief description of your duties that is your duties and your responsibilities that you were doing in the, your current employer's workplace all right so you click save and you continue so if you have a cap in your employment okay so this next part is a cap in your employment even though you have a cap in your employment please try as much as possible to explain what you were doing maybe you were studying or maybe you were volunteering and doing community projects and so on and so forth you can impute it here but we don't have any cap in your employment just leave this place blank and then you you move further all right so this next part is the most important part which is the supporting statement a lot of people don't know how to write supporting statement and some people know how to write it and most people don't know how to write it and this part play a very important role in your application it is supporting information field marked with an asterisk and uh, magnetry 
So in this session, you need to demonstrate that you have read the published person specification and how you meet the essential and where relevant desirable criteria for the particular post. So you need to read this, read, go back and read your person specification. Most of these person specification and this job description are for healthcare and support workers who are almost the same. They are almost the same job roles. All right. So what you need to do is to put down a well detailed supporting statement for your application because you need it because this is the part that help this nhs trust to shortlist you for an interview and if you don't have a well structured supporting statement i doubt it for you to be shortlisted for an interview some people might have a well structured application but when it comes to supporting statement their support statement did not go anywhere and they will end up not being shortlisted by the nhs trust so you need to follow this process this step by step say please include your reason for applying what i have to write a supporting statement when you're writing a supporting statement first of all you need to introduce yourself and talk about the, the, the talk about the healthcare role that you are applying for after you have been talking about it you can start with your reason for applying for the job role how you love you love working as a care as a healthcare assistant or we are the healthcare support worker and you continue with your talents you have any talents that you have been using or you have strength please don't forget to always add a situation scenario that happens during your previous workplace or your or that happened in your current workplace because it helps a lot when you write those scenarios that happened in your previous workplace it helps the employer to understand that you know what you are doing all right so just put it and it said here what you feel you can you can personally offer what do you feel that you can personally offer the nhs trust that you are applying for so you already know it right within, in within you that this is what you can be able to offer then you can impute it in your statement and it said what is unique to you and what sets you apart from your pace you should know what sets you apart from other candidates because that place that one that point is very important because everybody is a carer everybody says they are kind everybody that they are passionate they are patient okay so you need to understand that that you need to super, super see their expectation yes you need to super see them all right you need to make them understand that you have a quality that other candidates don't have and you can add it to your application and you just need like 1500 words in this particular part all right and when you are done then you can continue you can click on save and next and then you continue your application to the reference aspect all right what you need to do about this body statement make sure you write this body statement elsewhere after writing it and finish prove read it go through it then copy it and paste it here all right don't start your supporting statement here because sometimes you might not even remember to go back and prove read it and you just click submit and submit your application write it elsewhere once you're done writing prove read it and then copy it bring it to this particular place and then paste your supporting statement and then you click on save and next and guys i am still writing supporting statement for a lot of people if you need a supporting statement you can send me a direct message on telegram for a supporting statement and i'm going to give you a well-structured supporting statement that will support your application any of your job roles on nhs all right so guys so this particular place you need to actually write something before you can click on save and next all right so i'm gonna be in order for me to go forward with this application i'm going to be just copy something and paste day so that I can be able to move to the next stage okay so I just copy something then I'm gonna be pasting it okay so I can now click on save and next and then I'll go to the next stage all right of the application so this next stage is some further questions okay they said do you possess relevant qualification or equivalence then you click on yes so are you currently working as an employee of this trust that's no because you are an overseas applicant just click no so if your application is successful and you work for the nhs organization that use electronic staff record you can give consent to your employee employment history history being transferred to your new employer so what you need to do is to confirm yes all right so you need your data your previous employment data to be transferred to your current employer if you, you are successful with the job all right then you click on next and then you continue with the further application 
so you don't always forget to click on mark session as complete as long as you have completed the job rule okay so the next one now is the reference the reference is very very important because this reference aspect plays a very important role in your application too all right and you need to provide the number of reference that you want you to provide so in order if before you can continue to put your reference you need to actually read through this place here you say if you are successful prior to your appointment we will take as many references as needed to cover all activities including period of employment and full-time education that you have undertaken over the past three years okay so you need to give them a well detailed reference that they can reach out to when they need it all right at least you can give them like three reference all right one from your current employer maybe two from your previous employer and if you are studying during that years during the past three years you can use your school school reference or maybe your character reference okay so you can impute all this when you are done imputing the reference then you can click on save and then you continue i think that's all for the application so when you are done you just click for on the next stage and this next stage is equal opportunities for you to choose if you're an africa if you're a christian your sex your belief your sexual orientation and so on they will have finished choosing it and then you click on save and then you complete the form and then you click on the submit button here your form will then be submitted and the draft of your form is going to be saved on your track job application website so when next you want to apply for any job you just click on the previous job application and then you go ahead to to edit some stuff and apply for the new job role okay so now i'm taking you to another nhs job website that you can search for jobs to apply apart from the normal nhs job website there are other nhs job website that you can actually get all these jobs to apply all right so just continue staying close to the channel okay guys so we are here this is another nhs job website that you can get all the jobs that you need okay so i'm going to be posting the link of this particular website in the description box of this video so you can just click on the link then go ahead to search for jobs role so they have different job roles in nursing support service administrative medical and dental and so on and so forth all right so what you need to do you have a lot of job posting here a lot of job posting one that, that was recently put, posted and the one that that is closing soon all right what you need to do if you are looking for a healthcare and support worker role or a healthcare assistant you click on the nursing and midwifery when you click on the nursing and midwifery it will take you to where you can search for job all right let me show you if you can search for job on this website you just click on healthcare healthcare support worker okay support worker so it said here great so you click on bantry you're actually looking for bantry roles then you click on search you click on search then to take it to various job adverts available that you can pick up so the all this one here is pantry job rules they are all pantry job rules so you can just pick on any of these job rules and then you apply and then for example i click on this particular one you read through the job description the criteria the person specification and what they need all right once you are done reading through it then you can go ahead to put in an application all right so you can just click on the apply online and then it will take you to the particular website you can apply and it's still on track job all right so this is still on track job and it's still same process okay so what you need to do are you currently an employee of this particular nhs trust that is no you're an overseas applicant then you choose your immigration status and that is you do not have any visa and then you click on this and then you continue your application so when you continue your application they're gonna be asking you if you want to use your your previous application or you want to commence in a new application so as you can see here they said use recent application or blank form so you can use your recent application then you launch the new application and then you go ahead to put in your application all right so guys i don't want to make this video to be too long thank you so much guys for watching this video to the very end i want you to go ahead to try as much as possible to put in more application via the nhs so if you need a supporting statement don't forget to reach out to me and actually giving discount on this supporting statement for a lot of people who are interested in getting a well detailed supporting statement do 
reach out to me via telegram and i'm going to help you to write a well-structured one and then you can use it to put it in your application and if you have any question concerning any trade job don't forget to reach out to me via telegram i'll always answer you when i have time all right thank you so much guys and do have a nice time with your applications bye guys mm -hmm.